Hello, I am Dr. Jimmy Douglas, General Physician from Bangalore. Today we will learn about few updated and recommended ways to protect ourselves and others from SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. While the modes of transmission are respiratory droplets, airborne and fomites, while you revisit, read and understand the basic precautions to follow, let's see what World Health Organization has to say about airborne transmission. Respiratory aerosols are produced in many ways either in the hospital setting or outside the hospital setting. Now, when a symptomatic or asymptomatic infected individual coughs or sneezes, saliva and the mucus that come out contain droplets of different sizes. Bigger droplets are heavy and they fall rapidly to the ground, while smaller droplets less than 5 micrometer, also called as droplet nuclei, are suspended in the air for longer duration. And when inhaled, the probability of being infected increases. A sufficient number of viruses has to be present in the aerosol for it to transmit the disease. While it is being studied, we apply this information in our lives by avoiding poorly ventilated closed spaces and crowded areas. In case we need to sneeze, we can use tissues. Suppose we don't have any tissues, we have to sneeze into elbow. Revisit the do's and don'ts of wearing a mask. Read and understand by pausing the video. While we know the importance of wearing masks, washing our hands and not touching our mouth, nose or eyes, choose a supermarket which is well ventilated and move out as soon as you are done. Educate the maid about the do's and don'ts and supervise. Carry sanitizer, tissues and a reusable plastic pouch while you go out. Follow physical distancing during lunch time to avoid asymptomatic infected persons while you keep your mask in the plastic pouch. Fomites or infected surfaces are created by infected individuals. If you touch a contaminated object or surface and then touch your mouth, nose or eyes, then you are likely to be at risk of being infected. While you clean your regularly touched surfaces and objects, remember to wash your hands with soap and water after you are done. The cases are rising. Be alert and not anxious. Thank you for your time. See you soon.